What's up guys? I'm going to show you how to do a step-by-step -step tank cleaning on my tank. What steps I take to clean my tank, what type of tools I use, uh, so on and so forth. So this is going to be a two-part series. So this is part one. Stay tuned for part two. One of the many tools I use in my arsenal of cleaning is a 30 gallon brute trash can. The reason I'm using a gray brute trash can is, is because one of the side notes that you guys need to realize is certain plastics will leach chemicals into your water. And the brute gray line of trash cans is made with a type of a polyethylene, I believe is what it is that will not leach any chemicals into your water. The thing I do recommend that you guys do, if you do get one of these things brand new, fill it full of water, put it in your garage, backward, or your backyard, wherever you can. Fill it full of water and change the water every other day for two weeks. I know it seems like overkill, but what it does is it, it ensures that you have no chemicals, no release agents, things like that, that will leach themselves into your water system, basically. And what I do is I take a really large mixing pump that I use for pumping water back into my tank and pulling water out of. And I put a heater, the mixing pump, and I basically let this mix for 24 hours. The reason I mix it for 24 hours is yeah, some of them say you can do it once the water turns clear and the you can do it within a half hour to an hour. Don't believe it. It takes a while water a while for your water to age. And what that does is it ensures that all your chemicals that are in that water are completely 100% mixed. That is a very very good assurance to make sure that your your water is ready to go into your system. I have a refractometer and I check my saline level um, via the refractometer. This is one of your most accurate pieces of equipment that you can have. So let's take a look at that. With your refractometer, it will give you the most accurate reading that you can get. I bought this one from Bulk Reef, Reef Supply and I paid like 30 bucks for it. It was on sale. They're normally like 50 bucks and it comes in a case inside that case you have your little cleaning cloth you have a little dripper um, that you basically suck up the water and put that onto the lens of your refractometer it has a little eye right here you take your water and you drip it drip it drip it I put three drops you put it on there put this over it and you basically lift it up and look into the, the eyepiece. And the eyepiece has all kinds of different scales in there. Um, I'm sure you guys can look them up on the internet and see what they look like. Um, that's what I use. Um, it's very accurate. I have never had a problem with it being out of accuracy. I've checked it with uh, the solution they give you to check it and make sure that it's accurate. I do that once every other month. Um, Yet to this day, I haven't had it go out of adjustment, so but it is a good idea to check it every once in a while periodically just to make sure that it's good. Some of the tools I use and apparatuses I use for cleaning the tank are one, a very important thing, five gallon buckets. Those are always a great thing for uh, pulling water and putting water into. Um, you can use them also for um, when it comes time for you to say move some frags or move some rock you can fill it up with water and put those in there to make sure that they stay wet. Uh, the carry-all that I have is basically it's a five gallon bucket with a um, they call it a bucket mate um, and I keep things like screwdrivers, channel locks, hammers, uh, clamps, extra hose, my cleaning tubes, uh, putty knives, things like that. Anything that I could use for cleaning my tank it's a good way to keep things organized and keep things um, out of your better half's way. Uh, you know how 
your better half likes things organized instead of having everything askew all over the place. Good idea, guys. Uh, this portion I have here, right in the center of the center bucket, I've got uh, grabbing tools, I've got fish nets, I've got scrapers, uh, sand sifters, all kinds of different things like that. Uh, five gallon bucket here for catching water. A lot of times I'll use it to catch five gallons. I can measure off five gallons that I'm taking out of the tank. Uh, down below are basically my drain hoses and fill hoses that I use. I have a two cup measuring cup there. Uh, I do recommend getting a Pyrex glass um, mixing cup or measuring cup I should say. Uh, back in the back I have a step stool, two little legged step stool, or I'm sorry not two legged, that looks like more like four. Um, I've got magnifying glasses, flashlight, extra towels, to the right of that I've got a old laundry basket that I had that I just throw a bunch of like old rags that I have from old uh, shower towels uh, or bath towels, hand towels, things like that. Anything that we were getting ready to pitch out because they're old and tattered I didn't pitch them out, I just use them as uh, things for cleaning up around the aquarium, laying things down for laying rock down, uh, so on and so forth. So that's pretty much what I use in my arsenal of cleaning. Uh, 